Good morning, everyone. Um, this is a, a short uh, recording of um, the story enclosure method. So I'm going to go through a couple of things um, with with regard to um, example uh, to um, appendix two. Um, I'll still get to that. So I'll still explain that. I just saw through the informals that we submitted now that um, some students are still struggling with um, with how to subtract items from um, or to um, subtract a extract a certain percentage out of a something which is some uh, something that already has a percentage added to it so I just thought it uh, good to also um, just do this little example that I did in the in the class before um, it doesn't really matter this does apply for P's and G's and for for VAT um, so um, the percentage doesn't really matter um, but yeah you can just have a look um, I'm just gonna run through this and uh, play around with it I think that's the biggest thing is for you to play around with it um, so the main thing as I explained in that lecture was that um, whenever you have a, a amount and you add 15% like VAT or P's and G's of, of 10% to this, you end up with a 15% or a 10% here, which is then added to your um, original amount. So your original amount is the original amount plus the 15%. And thus, if you times this with 15%, you end up with 15% uh, plus your original amount um, that, that you times it with. So you're not ending up with only the 15%. Uh, this, item, um, this already includes 15%. So if you times it with 15% again, you including this little 15% already in the calculation. So let me just go to the next slide on this slide you will see um, how it's explained um, it shows it a little bit better if you um, have your original amount and you add 15 percent by just adding the 100 percent here it just gives you a bit of a, uh, a sense of how it works so instead of just using the 15 percent you just put it over 100 which is 15 percent okay so uh, you end up with your 15% on this side. Now, what that means is if you add that to your original amount, you have 115 over 100 because you've added the 15 to your original amount. Okay, so if you want to take this out, you have to times it with 15, oops, um, over 115 because this now includes 115 to get your 15% here again and vice versa if you want if you want to get your 100% out of this you just times it with 100 over 115 okay so I hope it explains it I don't want to explain try and explain it more uh, usually I end up uh, making it more confusing than than it already is so just play around with this um, add the 100 or rather use the 15 over 100 and then, then play around with it to make sure that you understand how it works Okay, cool. So let's get into Appendix 2 uh, and you will see um, uh, we're going to look at the story enclosure method. So um, yeah, that ex that's explained in the next slides. Okay, I want you uh, to go to your um, ex um, Annex or Appendix 2 um, and your um, example two so you'll see this is exactly as we've got it in the study notes so i'll be almost just reading it from from the text um, so please just um, follow me as as i go through but please make sure that you have your example 1a um, in front of you when when we go through the study material okay so for the purpose of this example um, the purpose of this example is to illustrate the concept of the story enclosure um, method so we look at our building uh, as you can see it's obviously been designed by QS again um, it is a exciting square rectangle building uh, nine by nine um, 
meters um, on square on plan and it has an elevation of 2.4 meters. Uh, the example two of the area method shows that the design detail determines the area tariff. Okay, so we by using the historical area tariff, a new estimate can only be correct if the design detail of the planned work is the same for the historical project. Okay, this is never the case. So to overcome the problem, the story enclosure method calculates the basic building cost by measuring each story enclosure element and pricing each at, it, at its own unit tariff. The quantity of each story enclosure element that varies from building to building is thus taken into account um, <clears throat> in the estimate. Okay, so for the purpose of this example, assume that the unit rates of the four story enclosure elements, uh, i.e. the rates in, the, in its own plane, are as follows. So this is the historical data of a of the building so we've got the surface bed which is um, 100 rand per square meter we've got the roof area which is 150 rand per square meter and we've got the exterior walls which is 400 rand per square meter <coughs> and then we've got the exterior walls uh, or the interior walls which is 200 rand per square meter okay so thus, the average unit rate of an element is the cost of the element itself, plus the standard finishes on both sides. Okay, so what that basically means is that uh, the finishes are included in the rates above. Okay, looking at our next section, uh, for the exterior of 220 uh, millimeter walls, the unit rate is 400 rand per square meter, includes the cost of brickwork, exterior doors and windows, and the standard plast and paint finishes. The surface bed rate is 100, square, uh, 100 rand per square meter, and it includes the surface bed with the surface finishes on top, screed plus vinyl tiles, etc. But also all the foundation costs um, below the surface bed. The moisture barrier, hardcore filling, foundations and the foundation walls are thus considered as the standard finishes below the surface bed element. Okay. For the 9 by 9 uh, square meter or the 9 by 9 meter building under investigation, the bill of quantities, which I will not actually um, say is bill of quantities, but it is more a schedule of quantities, uh, are as follows. Okay, so we've got a surface bed which is um, a 9 by 9 which which amounts to 81 square meters and we've got a rate of 100 square meters which we get from our previous slide and we times that to get a amount of 8100 for our surface beds then we move to our roof um, so we calculate that it's also 9 by 9 so we get our um, 81 square meters and we've got a rate of 150 rand uh, per square meter for that and thus we times that out to get to our uh, 12,150. Our exterior walls, um, we calculate the square meter of that. It is basically the 9 by 9 um, calculated to um, times a height of 2.4 um, to um, calculate to actually get the square meter rate and thus we use the uh, 400 rand per square meter to um, calculate that and to get our area and thus we're just left with our interior walls so um, which we calculate at um, 43.2 square meters times our rate of 200 rand per square meter uh, we thus just add um, all our elements and to get our um, total um, construction cost of 63,450 uh, Rand. Okay, note that the unit measure for each of the story enclosure elements is square meter. The total estimated um, Estimate for the basic building cost is thus uh, 63,450 as mentioned. So 
The unit rate of an element can thus be expressed as a factor times a constant rate of say 400 square meters without changing the elements as follows. So um, the 400 that they got was basically um, taking a factor if the exterior walls has a factor of um, one um, and its given rate was 400 um, then um, one can um, calculate what the factors should be for the other elements to actually get to the rates that we need. So the first thing is you can refer to your um, page 13 um, of part two of your study notes just for a, a, a bit of an explanation of how they got to the um, 400 rand um, and a factor of one. Um, but I don't worry too much about that. That will be given usually in, in the questions. Um, okay, so what they then did further was if if you know that the square meter rate is 400 rand uh, per square meter for a factor of one, one can easily work it back and calculate um, that if you divide 8,100 by 400, you get a factor of 2.5. So thus they cal they worked it back in this um, uh, example and actually showed that one could actually get to the same answer by timesing it with the factor. And this factor is the factor that we spoke of uh, last week in in the um, uh, theoretical class. Okay, um, the actual unit rate of a story enclosure element can thus be obtained by multiplying the constant rate of 400 square meters with the factor. This constant rate, 400 square meter or 400 rand per square meter, is called the story enclosure tariff, as spoken about uh, last week. The set is published by the Bureau of Economic Research in Stellenbosch and depends on the inflation of the construction industry. Okay, the story enclosure factors adjust the set um, up or down to obtain the actual rate uh, for the particular element uh, in its own plane. For example, to obtain the true rate of 100 rand per square meter for the surface bed, um, a factor um, of 0 0.25 is used and times with the set, which uh, was given as 400, and 400 rand per square meter. Thus, uh, instead of multiplying the factor with uh, the set, one can rather adjust the measured quantity of the element with the factor as follows. So um, it's the same table again. So we've got our um, areas that we've worked out in our first example, uh, and we've got our factors. So what we just do is instead of uh, multiplying the factors with our um, rates, uh, we just calculate it or multiply it with our areas, and thus we get a <coughs> a, um, a total area of um, 158 square meters. If we um, add the 20.25, the 30.37, and the 80.4, and the 21.6, to get a factor of, of 158 uh, square meters. This can then um, be multiplied with the 400 and you still get uh, the same answer as before. Okay, so each story enclosure element is measured to obtain its physical area. The area is multiplied with the factor applicable to the element and uh, thus you get the story enclosure area and this is what we spoke of last week um, in our um, study notes and the total story enclosure area in this case was 158 square meters for the building and this is multiplied with the rate of 400 rand per square meter as given uh, in the uh, on the question uh, and we obtain the same amount as we did with all with the previous two examples the values of the actual factor to be used in practi practice is thus uh, represented by the following formula you have your actual historical data rate of the element okay and then you divide it by your historical cost 
or your historical uh, enclosure tariff. Okay. Um, this was shown in the example above. Okay. The unit rate of a store enclosure element increase due to the inflation. Yeah, to inflation. In a similar way, uh, the published um, set also increases due to inflation. The um, result is that the val values of the factor for the store enclosure elements of a particular building remain fairly the same with time. Uh, you can also refer to paragraph uh, 1.11.1 of your chapter D. This is what we discussed last week, which I've been referring to uh, during these examples. Thus, just final note um, is that note that the factors used for the surface bed and the roof in this example is far from practical, uh, practically co uh, correct. It's only correct in the sense that it explains the concept of the story enclosure method. Okay, thank you guys for listening to this video. Uh, if you do have any questions, you know where to find me. And um, yeah, please send through any questions if there is.